Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, yeah. we got in a whole mess of trouble. Like, a gigantic, big old clusterfuck mess of trouble. Because... Here in Annisburg, we decided, well, Dutch decided to up and murder <coughs> Cornwall. And well, Cornwall had a small army of Pinkertons with him. Long story short, this whole fucking place is, this whole thing's fixing to go straight to shit. We're already dead or alive in the area because we lifted Bill, or John Marston. Oh my God! You're just now doing that? Anyway, we're because we lifted John Marston from the state prison. Easy, whoa. A guy swimming, or perhaps bathing in the river. He's watching. He's always watching. Okay. He's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh -uh. They, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None okay. I feel like I need to walk away. Why the audio bug like that? They come for me, but I'm watching. I never sleep. I never do. Let me fix that. Go to sleep! Take a nap, you crazy fucking nut. Here, I'll take you to your camp. Or at least take you somewhere that's not fucking rocks. You need a nap. Take a nap. Fucking nut. What have we here? Burdock root. Oh, my God, you got up. Okay. Well, he doesn't seem too angry about me beating the fuck out of him, so... Just leave him be. Leave him be. We're gonna go talk to our own Reverend Swanson. To see what the old timer needs of us. I mean... Hell, that Sandini bank job did not go well. <clears throat> Molly O'Shea ratted us out. And cost Lenny and Hosea their lives. Swanson. <coughs> Reverend? You okay, Mr. Morgan? No. He's dying. I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. 
New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. New Guinea's but not a very good place. We have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? No! Sure, I'm fine. Who has tuberculosis? I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flash. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Uh, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Dutch. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. They always do. Come along. Are we seriously going to storm a military installation? We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. Thank you for this. You gonna let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Wait. Where's Blucher? Where's my horse? Where is Blucher? There she is. You all right, girl? Okay, young man, lead away. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a... This ain't gonna go well, I just know it. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. But we're seriously doing this. We are going to charge a military installation. We're going to for Wallace. We're going to Fort Wallace. We're going to charge a military installation. Come on, people. It's not even September yet. Why okay, that was a joke. Don't raid Area 51. This, seriously, people, you, you will die. Me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need eating. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think. For a second, 
The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You keep saying you know, I went that. Back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. I guess so. We have to stick together. Now more than ever. Alone, they'll pick us off. We wouldn't last five minutes out there. Not you, not me, not any of us. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. I swear, Dutch, one of these things is gonna... One of these right. schemes, they're gonna get you killed. Let's head out. Paddle the boats. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, border. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor and float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. I don't think this is going to work out as well as you think it is, Dutch. In fact, I'm almost certain that this is going to get us killed. Try not to splash too much, Arthur. Good luck. Uh, why is it so damn slow? Yeah, I don't like how slow this actually is. Come on. Feels like this thing's biting me. You know, if you idiots would like to help paddle, that'd be wonderful. Come on, buddy, take a nap. Hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna loot you while I'm at it. Oh, that's a nice hat. I'm taking that hat, that's a nice hat. You mind the horses? I need smoke. What the hell? 
Well, I walked right into it. At this rate, there was no way to actually plant dynamite. You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up, man. Hurry. Come on, Arthur. I didn't see a way. Pretty fast, I'm trying. We're headed to those rocks. Hold on. What is wrong with you? The boys, all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. Boss, get him out of here! I guess we're swimming. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. This didn't go well. This did not go well. Annisberg still wants me dead. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Cone's dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live... In ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Yes. Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behaviors. I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. This, this is not going to end well. Okay, my girl. Now what? Micah's right here.
And Sadie still has one for me. Oh god, even Saint Denis, I'm dead or alive. This is not good. This is very not good. This This is very not good. And rains fall. You know, let's work with Micah since he's right here. Yeah. Yep. We need to get out of this county. Now granted, yes, the dead or alive thing is kind of mine and Sadie's fault for springing John, but same time, why are we still here? Dutch is only making things worse. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I see what the crazy motherfucker Mike Cabell has in store for us. Because knowing him, it ain't going to be good. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.